This video is for educational purposes only. Do not use these techniques for illegal activities. Always respect privacy and the law. I bet you didn't know that some of the most powerful hacking tools are actually used by cybersecurity professionals every day. We're exploring tools often sensationalized in movies, but are very real. These aren't magic codes to hack the Pentagon, but scripts and tools used by cybersecurity professionals. We'll break down 10 of these, explaining what they do and how understanding them can make you safer online. So grab your thinking caps, open up a notepad, and let's get started. Remember, knowledge is power, and with great power comes great responsibility. First up is Nmap, a crucial tool for network analysis. Nmap, short for Network Mapper, is often called the Swiss Army Knife of network security. It's a favorite among cybersecurity professionals and ethical hackers alike for its versatility and power. Imagine you're a security guard checking every door and window of a building. Nmap does this for networks. It systematically scans every possible entry point, ensuring nothing is left unchecked, just like a vigilant guard making sure the premises are secure. It identifies devices, operating systems, and open ports, digital doors, and windows. By mapping out these details, Nmap gives you a clear picture of what's connected to your network and where potential vulnerabilities might exist. Security professionals use Nmap to audit their networks, finding and closing vulnerabilities before malicious actors do. Regular scans help organizations stay one step ahead, proactively defending against cyber threats. The basic command is simple. Just type Nmap followed by the target IP address. Even beginners can start scanning their own networks within minutes, making it accessible to all skill levels. Its real power lies in its options, like stealth scans and the Nmap scripting engine for advanced discovery. With these features, you can perform deep reconnaissance, automate tasks, and uncover hidden services that might otherwise go unnoticed. Setting up a virtual lab and using Nmap is a great way to learn about network security. In a safe, controlled environment, you can experiment with different scan types and see firsthand how networks respond. It teaches you to think like an attacker to build better defenses. By understanding how vulnerabilities are discovered, you can better protect your own systems and anticipate potential threats. While hackers use Nmap to find weaknesses, professionals use it to patch them. This duality makes Nmap a powerful tool in both offense and defense, depending on the user's intent. It's not the tool that's good or bad, it's the intent behind its use. Like any technology, Nmap can be used for harm or for protection. The choice is yours. Understanding Nmap is your first step towards mastering digital environments. It lays the foundation for more advanced cybersecurity skills and opens the door to a deeper understanding of how networks operate. It's a fundamental skill for anyone interested in cybersecurity. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just curious, learning Nmap is an essential part of your journey into the world of digital defense. Metasploit is often described as the ultimate toolkit for testing vulnerabilities in computer systems. It's a powerful, flexible platform that allows security professionals to probe, analyze, and understand the weaknesses in networks and applications. This framework is a vast collection of exploits and payloads used not only by ethical hackers, but also by cyber criminals. Its versatility makes it a double-edged sword in the world of cybersecurity. Security professionals rely on Metasploit to simulate real-world cyber attacks helping them identify and fix vulnerabilities before malicious actors can exploit them. It's a crucial part of proactive defense strategies. One of Metasploit's strengths is its ability to automate the process of exploiting known software weaknesses, saving time and increasing efficiency for penetration testers. For example, a security team might use Metasploit to test a company's digital defenses, attempting to gain access to systems in order to uncover hidden security holes and weaknesses. The ultimate goal is to provide a detailed, actionable report so the company can patch vulnerabilities and strengthen its security posture, reducing the risk of future breaches. Learning Metasploit is essential for bridging the gap between understanding theoretical vulnerabilities and actually performing practical exploitation in a controlled environment. The framework features its own powerful interface, MSF Console, which allows users to search for exploits, configure payloads, and launch attacks with precision and control. Mastering Metasploit is crucial for anyone serious about offensive security, penetration testing, or ethical hacking. It's a foundational skill in the cybersecurity field. Using Metasploit demonstrates the real-world impact of software bugs, showing how even small vulnerabilities can lead to major breaches if left unaddressed. 
Ultimately, working with Metasploit is a journey in understanding both the immense power and the serious responsibility that comes with using advanced cybersecurity tools. Passwords are often the weakest link in security. Every day people forget them, reuse them, or choose ones that are easy to guess, making them a prime target for attackers. John the Ripper is a powerful tool designed to find weak passwords by cracking encrypted password files. It's widely used in cybersecurity to test the strength of password protection. The tool uses both dictionary attacks, which try common words and phrases, and brute force attacks, which systematically guess every possible combination to uncover passwords. Security professionals rely on John the Ripper to audit their systems, identifying weak or reused passwords before malicious hackers can exploit them. When John cracks a password quickly, it's a clear warning sign that stronger, more complex passwords are needed to protect sensitive information. This tool highlights the critical importance of password complexity and uniqueness, showing how easily simple passwords can be compromised. Regular password audits with John the Ripper are a key part of maintaining good security hygiene and keeping systems safe from breaches. For aspiring security professionals, using John the Ripper for the first time is an eye-opening experience, revealing just how vulnerable weak passwords can be. It demonstrates why password managers and multi-factor authentication are essential tools for anyone serious about protecting their accounts. John the Ripper provides a practical, hands-on lesson in digital security, making abstract concepts real and understandable. Understanding password vulnerabilities is crucial for protecting digital assets, both personal and professional, in today's connected world. John the Ripper is not just a password cracker. It's a powerful educational tool for learning about password security and the importance of strong authentication. Aircrack Ng is a suite for assessing Wi-Fi security. It can monitor traffic, capture data packets, and crack Wi-Fi keys. The process involves capturing a four-way handshake which contains an encrypted version of the password. Aircrack Ng then uses a word list to find the password. Testing your own Wi-Fi network with Aircrack Ng reveals weaknesses. It demonstrates why Wi-Fi passwords need to be long and complex. Security teams use it to audit corporate wireless infrastructure. Understanding Aircrack Ng is essential for securing wireless networks. It shows how weak passwords can undermine strong encryption. Moving to stronger standards like WPA3 is crucial for better protection. Aircrack Ng is a practical tool for learning about Wi-Fi security. SQL Map automates detecting and exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities. SQL injection flaws occur when user input isn't properly validated, allowing attackers to manipulate database queries. SQL Map tests web pages for vulnerabilities, extracting data from databases. Security professionals use it to find and fix SQL injection flaws before they go live. Fixing these vulnerabilities involves using prepared statements or parameterized queries. Understanding SQL injection is crucial for web security. SQL Map shows how small coding mistakes can lead to data breaches. It's a vital tool for secure web development. Burp Suite lets you intercept and modify web traffic in real time. It's a platform for security testing of web applications. By routing browser traffic through Burp, you can inspect and change requests and responses. This reveals vulnerabilities like business logic flaws. Burp Suite includes tools like Repeater and Intruder for probing vulnerabilities. Ethical hackers use it to test web application security. It helps identify issues like SQL injection and cross-site scripting. Learning Burp Suite is essential for application security. It teaches the intricacies of the HTTP protocol and web application behavior. Watching traffic flow through Burp is an education in itself. Burp Suite is invaluable for deep security testing. The fork bomb is a simple code that can crash a system by overwhelming it with processes. It illustrates resource exhaustion as an attack vector. The code creates exponential growth in processes, consuming system resources. Properly configured systems set limits to prevent such attacks. Understanding the fork bomb provides insight into denial of service attacks. It highlights the importance of resource management and security. While a fork bomb attacks a single machine, DDoS attacks use botnets to flood servers. The principle is the same, overwhelm the target's resources. It's a crucial concept in defensive security. The fork bomb is a foundational lesson in understanding denial of service attacks. Mimikatz extracts plain text passwords from a computer's memory. It interacts with the LSAS process on Windows to dump credentials. Attackers use it for lateral movement, turning minor breaches into major incidents. Security teams use Mimikatz to demonstrate vulnerabilities and drive home the importance of security measures. 
Mimikatz exposes vulnerabilities that need addressing, reinforcing good security practices. SET exploits the human element in security. It automates attacks that trick people into giving up information. SET can clone websites and craft convincing phishing emails. The goal is to capture credentials by deceiving users. Security teams use SET for phishing awareness training. It identifies who needs more security training within an organization. SET demonstrates the ease of deception online. It teaches skepticism of unsolicited emails and the importance of checking URLs. SET shows how human psychology can bypass technical defenses. It's a powerful tool for understanding social engineering. Shodan is a search engine for internet-connected devices. It scans the internet for open ports and device information. Shodan reveals unsecured devices from webcams to industrial systems. It's a goldmine for malicious actors, but a tool for security researchers. Organizations use Shodan to assess their internet exposure. It provides an attacker's eye view of network vulnerabilities. Shodan highlights the importance of securing internet-connected devices. It teaches the need for changing default passwords and closing unnecessary ports. Shodan shows that neglect, not complex exploits, often leads to vulnerabilities. It's a reminder of the importance of deliberate security measures. These tools are powerful, used by both sides of the security fence. Understanding them is the best way to defend against them. Security through obscurity isn't a strategy. Knowledge is power. By demystifying these tools, we level the playing field. This knowledge makes you a harder target and sparks curiosity in cybersecurity. Whether it leads to a career or just better personal security, it's a win. If you found this interesting, subscribe for more tech and security deep dives. Stay safe out there.